Hey guys, this is Nick, um, a PGY3 neurology resident. Today I wanted to make a quick video about uh, finding research projects while in med school and residency. So I've been a part of a couple research projects. I know when I was in med school, that was the one thing that I knew would tell a residency program that I'm interested in that specific uh, field. So for me, that was neurology. I knew if I did some research in the field of neurology, it's one great way of showing residencies that I really appreciate, that I like the field, I really like this topic and I wanna to learn more about it. Um, so I think the first way is in med school in particular, is it's really tough to find research or to just create your own project and go from there. I know for me, I didn't have a lot of, a very big research background. So one of the things I did was I found some mentors in the field and I asked them if they had any projects. Most people, um, if they have a project, they're always happy to add people to it. Uh, research is all about collaboration and it's great to have multiple people on certain projects. I think that's the first thing and med school definitely is finding a mentor. I think the second thing about uh, publications while you're in med school, there's a lot of narrative medicine uh, journals where you could publish. So it might not be research, it might not be like hard science, but you can really publish stories, poems, things like that. That actually looks really great on your residency application. Uh, you can write about uh, specific things. I know for me, I actually had a poem published that was about Parkinson's disease. I was able to talk about that. I wrote it in my, on my application. So that's, that's one way that you can show programs that, hey, like I wanna publish things. I'm, I like creativity. I'm, I, I like hearing about patient stories and I, I doing going this narrative medicine route is something that's kind of a big thing now it's it's coming and I, I think it's good to take part in it the last uh, thing would be during residency so how can you do research during residency so for me uh, a big thing was also finding mentors um, I'm a little more I've gained a little more experience so doing different like literature type reviews is easier submitting to conferences getting those cases in making sure that I always remember the interesting cases um, and just seeing like, what questions do I have? What am I seeing in these patient populations? What do I wanna know? What do I wanna learn more about? And I think in residency, it can be tough with time, but it's almost easier to come up with projects because there are certain things that, especially quality improvement projects for your hospital or your residency program, there is always uh, ways to improve and things to look into. So these are just like a couple things I did to help with my research. Um, and I hope that you use these tips, do some research, stay creative, and I'll see you in the next video.